Welcome to the 198th edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. The Clifton Forge Christmas Parade was held on Friday, December 1st, and was a big hit with the crowd. The Clifton Forge Little League was named the judge's favorite entry. The Covington Christmas Parade was very long and well attended last Saturday. The city also sponsored multiple Christmas-related events throughout the day. The annual Good News Church Christmas Bazaar drew a very big crowd all day last Saturday at its new venue at the former Gordman's Building on Main Street, Covington. Even Santa showed up to provide additional joy for the kids. Washington and Lee University announced that Melissa Karen will be the new director of the Mudd Center for Ethics there, effective July 1st. The Clifton Forge Women's Club held a successful holiday home tour last Saturday, featuring six area residences. Also of note were 77 donated items for its silent auction, which raised hundreds of dollars for future club projects. Allegheny Highlands Community Services celebrated an official ribbon cutting event on Monday in downtown Clifton Forge for its peer recovery drop-in center. Several local officials, friends, and supporters turned out for the event. There's video now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walters updated the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors on the Pad Ready site, the Wells Fargo building purchase, a broadband grant submission for the western portion of Allegheny County, the Jackson River Scenic Trail Phase 5, and Wrightsville projects on Tuesday night. Separately, Dwayne Paxton told the board about a big grant to fund 34 Scott Air Packs recently was obtained from the Allegheny Foundation. Video of both presentations are now on the AlleghenyJournal.com. Covington City Manager Alan Dressler updated the Covington City Council on a number of issues on Tuesday night, including a brief discussion of next week's three scheduled public hearings. Mayor Tom Seibold also updated the public on several topics, and the Covington City Council began a discussion on downtown parking concerns. Video both is now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. On Tuesday night, Sheriff Kevin Hall thanked the retiring Allegheny County Sheriff's Office members present and the Board of Supervisors for their support over the past 16 years as he approaches the end of his administration. There's video of him right now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. The Lewis Gale Allegheny Hospital Volunteer Auxiliary recognized many local organizations with donations at a brief gathering at the hospital on Tuesday. Funding is the result of gift shop sales. Full details are now available on AlleghenyJournal.com. Nine Allegheny County retirees were recognized by a resolution of appreciation by the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors on Tuesday night representing 251 years of dedication to the county. Three appeared in person. And now a word from our sponsor. We belong to you. We belong to you. Want a car loan with a little get up and go? Our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Jackson River Community Credit Union. We belong to you. Online at jacksonrivcomcu.org. We're federally insured by NCUA. We're an equal housing lender. The Roanoke Symphony Orchestra put on a delightful holiday concert on Monday night at Kerfman Hall highlighted by several songs featuring soloist Emmy Cannon. Allegheny Highlands Public School student Ben Eggleston got a chance to conduct one number. The Allegheny Retired 
Teachers Association recently presented Highland's Christmas mother, Becky Perkins, a nice donation for her holiday operations. The Allegheny Highlands Regional Library announced its new management team on Tuesday as Lisa Spoonagle was named director, replacing longtime director Lisa Hicks upon her retirement. Shannon Anderson is the new director of technical services. The library will have an open house event on Tuesday, December 12th from 1 to 7 p.m. Jody Kern, 45 of Callahan, will be spending the next 33 years in jail for the attempted murder of two Allegheny County deputies after he was sentenced Tuesday in Allegheny County Circuit Court. There were firearms and drug charges involved in the case. Several Allegheny County officials showed up for a session to explain the latest details of a grant proposal that would bring broadband internet to a remote portion of western Allegheny County on Wednesday night at the Allegheny Highlands Regional Library. Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walters explained many details of the grant idea and noted that citizen input via forms and other means was very important. There's video now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Allegheny County officials noted that an earlier survey effort had proved to be insufficient in reaching those with poor regional telephone or internet service. The email address broadband at co.allegheny.va.us was established to report such items. Citizens may also call in complaints about service at 540-863-6600. The Allegheny County Covington Department of Social Services recently made a donation to the Allegheny Highlands Christmas Mothers Program. Both the Allegheny Cruisers and Highlands Community Bank made recent generous contributions to the Allegheny Highlands Christmas Mother Program. Students at Mountain View Elementary School and several student organizations at Allegheny High School have made Allegheny Highlands Christmas Mother Program donations lately as well. VFW Post 4299 in Clifton Forge put on a Pearl Harbor Day program on Wednesday, noting the huge losses of lives, facilities, naval assets, and more 82 years ago there. Video is now available on AlleghenyJournal.com. Mountain Gateway Community College announced two online courses designed to help students kickstart a journey on an IT career. Help desk principals and user support eight-week courses count towards a career study certificate in IT there. And thanks very much for joining us today for our 198th show in this series. With more than 18,827 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week.